Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting an issue that says that the drive or Windows is installed is locked, and perhaps you're unable to reset your PC because a required drive partition is missing. So this should be a fairly quick and straightforward tutorial, and we're going to jump right into it. So the first thing I'd recommend doing if you don't already have it would be to go on to Microsoft's website and download the Windows 10 Media Creation Utility and then load the ISO file onto a bootable DVD or a USB flash drive. And that's basically where we're at right now on the screen. We've already assumed that you have done that and you have it on a flash drive, the Windows installation, so as if you were going to install Windows 10. And there's a lot of troubleshooting utilities built into that as well in case you were unaware of that. At least some of you guys were unaware of that. And what you want to do now is you want to boot your computer off of that. So it's going to depend on your computer's manufacturer. It might be a little bit of a different key on how to get to the boot menu or even how to get to the BIOS settings. So if you went the BIOS setting method, if you know how to get to your BIOS settings on your computer, you want to change the boot order to your DVD drive first or USB flash drive. You want to boot your computer off of this disk. Well, at least in my case, it's going to be a disk. And if you could get to the boot menu without going through the BIOS settings, you're more than welcome to do that as well. I'd recommend going onto Google and looking up your computer model and seeing which one is suggested because honestly it depends on what computer you have. The most common keys that I found are the escape key and F2 keys generally, but that's my best hunch, again, case by case basis. So for the boot menu, I'm going to go down and select my DVD drive because I already have my Windows installation media on it. And now I'm going to press any key to boot from my DVD here. Now for Windows setup, first screen you get here, you're just going to confirm your language, time, currency, keyboard, input method. You want to select next. Now at the bottom left corner there should be something that says repair your computer. You want to left click on that. Now underneath choose an option, left click on the troubleshoot tile, reset your PC or see advanced options. Now underneath advanced options, left click on the command prompt tile where it says use the command prompt for advanced troubleshooting. Now you want to type in disk part, so D-I-S-K-P-A-R-T. Please note disk is spelled with a K, and then you want to hit enter. It should say Microsoft disk part and then version, whatever, it doesn't really matter. And now you want to type in list. Once the disk part, you see it says disk part right here. Once you're on this utility, you want to type in list space disk. And keep in mind, you saw it did take a moment for this part to open up, so just be patient, give it a few seconds here before you begin typing. So again, list, disk, two words, then you want to hit enter. Again, disk is spelled with a K, and we're going to be spelling it with a K for every time I mention it for the remainder of this tutorial. So now there should be a list of different disks here. Now, you should be able to identify which one you want to install Windows on. It will more than likely be the largest one here considerably and keep in mind if there's a drive in megabytes there is 1024 megabytes and 1 gigabyte so if you see something that says 512 megabytes that is considerably smaller than this 25 gigabyte drive here so make sure you keep in mind in what measurement it's being used in to see how big the hard drive is so I only have one disk here and that's the one we're going to be using to resolve this issue with so that's where the Windows installation is locked so I'm going to type in select space, disk, another space, and then I'm going to type the number zero. I'm not going to spell out zero, so Z-E-R-O. I'm going to just type the number zero, so select disk zero. Once you typed it in like that, you want to hit enter. should say disk zero is now the selected disk. Now you want to type in list space partition. So list L-I-S-T partition P-A-R-T-I-T-I-O-N. And then you want to hit enter. More than likely the drive you're trying to install Windows on is going to be a primary partition type. If it's recovery or system, probably not, or reserved. And you can see I have two primary drives in this video. 
gigabyte, like I was mentioning earlier, you can see one is 24 gigabytes and the other one is 549 megabytes. So definitely the second one is more than likely within a high reason of certainty that this is going to be the drive we're going to be installing Windows on. So we're going to select partition 2 here. So you're going to type in SEL space partition. And now in my case it's going to be the number 2 but you might have multiple partitions on here so you're going to have to just swap out this 2 that I'm about to type with any partition number that you're going to have to use in your case. So see what I'm doing, I'm not actually spelling out 2, I'm typing the number 2. And once you've done that you want to hit enter on your keyboard. It should say partition, whatever number you had is now the selected partition. So now at this point you want to type in format space fs equals, so the equal sign, fat32. So again, format, then space, fs equals fat32. Then you want to hit enter. And this will take some time to run, so be patient. It shouldn't take too long, but again, depending on the size of the hard drive, it will vary in length. Okay guys, so at this point, this part should have successfully formatted the volume. You want to type in a list space partition, exactly how it appears on my screen, list partition, then you want to hit enter. And now we're going to select the same partition we were working on before, and there should be a little asterisk next to it as well, so that will identify. You can see there's a little asterisk right here. 
right here. So you want to type in SEL space partition and then type in the number of that partition. So in my case it's partition number two. So SEL partition two. And I'm not spelling out two, I'm just typing the number two. Then I'm in enter. Partition two is now the selected partition. So now we're going to assign a drive letter. So if you know anything about drive letters, it doesn't really matter so much as long as you're not taking the place of another drive. So I would honestly recommend that you assign a drive letter that's not A, B, C, D, E, or F. I would prefer you guys assign like a letter G or an H. And if you want to go back in later when you've installed Windows and changed the drive letter, it's very easy to do. And if you don't change it, it's really not a big deal either way. Just if you watch different tutorials, the command's going to be a little bit different. Instead of using the C drive, you're going to use the H or J drive or something like that. So I'm going to now type in assign space letter, another space equals. And now you're going to assign the drive letter. So I'm going to do equals one more space. And I'm going to say H. So I'm going to call it the H drive. And then I'm going to do a colon. So the two little dots on top of each other. So assign space letter and then another space equals space the letter whatever you want to be in my case it's H and then a colon. Now I'm going to hit enter. So now we have assigned the drive letter as H. So there we go guys. Whatever you assign it at this point is going to be what we're going to be following for the rest of the video. So if you're using a different letter than I'm showing in this video you're just going to have to swap out the H with a different letter. So at this point you want to type in MK DIR space and now we're going to type in the H and at least in my case I'm going to do H colon and now I'm going to do a backslash so backslash should be right underneath the backspace key at least on my keyboard so no space is in between the H, the colon, and the backslash, but there is a space in between the MKDIR here. And now we're going to type in EFI, and now you're going to do another backspace, or backspace line. No space is in between all of this little stuff right here. And then you want to hit enter. So after you've done that, you want to type in exit. And now you want to type in DIR space and then whatever your drive letter was so H and then I'm going to do a colon should say directory of H while not found which is good now you want to type in MK DIR space now whatever your drive letter was and then a colon now you want to do backslash EFI and then another backslash no spaces in between the H colon backslash EFI and the last backslash then you want to hit enter now you want to type in MK DIR space and we're going to do another H colon again and then backslash EFI backslash Microsoft no spaces in between the H, the colon, and the Microsoft and all the EFI stuff too no spaces like I said now you want to type in CD space forward slash D space, now we're going to do the H again, colon, backslash, EFI, another backslash, Microsoft, and then you're going to hit enter. Now you're going to type in boot, REC, space, forward slash fix boot so boot rec b o o t r e c space forward slash fix boot and if you ever want to slow down you can more than welcome to pause the video and see the commands that I'm typing into this video it's critical that you guys follow along with what I'm typing in this tutorial because I'm sure there are going to be people that are not going to follow the steps exactly and if you get any errors along the way just type in the command again and hopefully you'll be able to figure out and reverse engineer what your issue was and how you differed from what I'm showing in this tutorial. So anyway, after you type in boot rec, then space forward slash fix boot, you want to hit enter. At this point you want to type in bcd boot space and you want to do a c 
Now the C is going to be for everybody. So you're going to do C colon backward slash or backslash windows space forward slash L. So like the letter L, not one. This is the letter L here. I'm going to stress that. It's L. L as in library. So L. And then you do another space. And then you're going to type in EN. Then a little minus sign. US. So EN slash US. Another space. Forward slash S. Space. And now whatever your drive was that you were using before. So I'm going to say H again. So H colon space forward slash F and then another space type all and then once you're done doing that you want to hit enter now you want to type in DIR and then hit enter now you want to type in DIR space boot and then hit enter once you're doing that you want to type in exit hit enter and then exit and continue to Windows 10. So select the first option here. And that should pretty much be it, guys. So I hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.